Hello and welcome back to the Football Fanatics. I'm your host Vincent and today we're going to be looking at the London game. Jets offense versus Viking defense and looking at the three and outs and turnovers of New York. Now, jumping straight in. We have early in the game, 14 minutes and 23 seconds left in the first, still 0-0. Zero to zero. It'll be a second down in nine and we're looking right at it. So... Vikings here, Minnesota, in a cover four look, and it's actually going to be a 42 fire zone. Now what that means is two and seven for Minnesota, these two outside corners. They're going to be dropping into part of a co cover four shell, as well as these two safeties, 24 and 22. Now that leaves these two linebackers to take the underneath part of the field. Now this it doesn't really work like cover two for these two underneath defenders where you aren't trying to really split the field in half. What you're doing is you're going to be looking at the quarterback and relating to his eyes. So, and obviously five down guys rushing there. So, we... They'll get into their formation here right at the end. You see, as the play comes, we have two, seven. They're going to carry these two inside guys and drop with them. Your two safeties are deeper. You have the two underneath players. We have a deep out. Incomplete. If we go back, what are the Jets running? Well, these two outside receivers... They're going to be running, looks like, 20-yard outs. These two tight end types, they're going to chip these two edges, 58 and 43. And they will release to the flats. And this running back is going to hook up. So, if we have that play designed... We have three underneath shot routes in these two flats and the hook. Vikings only have two underneath defenders. That means one of them should be open. And as we play it again. Play a fake. Right here, you see both this little hook right here on the 29 and the the top of the screen tight end, 84, wide open. Now, if you hit that, the running back probably gets to, like, the 32. Tight end gets to, I don't know, 32, 31, somewhere in there. And it makes a manageable third down. Now, deep down the field, these two uh, outside receivers are both covered by the cover four shell. There's not really a good window to throw. Now, two does fall down there. But, if we go back to when he throws it, because he's throwing right th there. And right here, sure, maybe we can expect two to not get turned right in here. But, that's asking an awful lot. And... Unfortunately, don't get a good throw, lands out of bounds. From the back end of the play, we'll have these three downed interior rushers, as well as 43 and 58. The two edges is rush here. We get good pass protection, five on five. The pass protection was good. Maybe we could have gotten down to the check down, but we didn't, so that brings up third and nine. So, here on this third and nine, Vikings showing cover zero. What is cover zero, you ask? Well, you see all these guys up at the line. Every single one of them is going to come. Now, that leaves four on four for receiving threats and uh, defenders. So, 2 will take this outside corner, 24 will take the inside corner, and these two guys up here will also take their guys. That leaves us 
as New York to try and hit something quick. Either a screen or some sort of slant type thing. So here, they're going to have some, I guess the closest thing I can call it is a slant up top. But unfortunately, we can't get the first. It, he'll be about a yard short. So see, five looks inside, gets the ball. The side judge there coming in to mark it just a bit short. They are bringing pressure. It's unfortunate that we couldn't get one more yard, but that's all I have for these two plays. First three and out in the first drive, not a great way to start the game. Advancing to our second play here. Vikings will get lined up here. We'll let them do that. They should be bouncing out with the motion. So they'll bounce out, yep. So, Vikings here in a standard cover four front. So, last time outside corners, seven and two. Here, outside corners, number one down here on the bottom, number two up here on the top. So they will be dropping both into cover four with four deep defenders. You see them back here. They will be four deep defenders. Now these three linebacker types so these two true linebackers, and this slot corner up here. They will split the field into three. Now, unlike the first time where they're just going to look at the eyes, here they'll actually try a bit to recognize patterns. It's just the nature of having three guys versus two underneath. Now, these two guys will kind of have the very similar route to what we saw in the first play, where five is going to come hit right down on the sidelines around the 50, and this tight end is going to be short. Now, as we watch this play come in, Rodgers gets the ball, one jumps up, but unfortunately, just a very slight miss by Rodgers, it, and he can't quite get the ball to land where he wants it. Five can't bring it in. It's unfortunate. Five is a good receiver for uh, New York. Couldn't quite bring it in. So, pass protection. Pass protection, again, relatively good. Now, you do have 58 coming kind of free off the edge, but it doesn't affect our throwing motion. Because if you see 77 never gets a block, that leaves 20 to have to chip him up. Go to running back and pass pro, but he couldn't quite pick it up. That's going to be the second three and out. We're now down 0-3, and we're giving the ball back to Minnesota. So, advancing here to late in the first quarter. 1 minute 37 left in the first. You're down by 10. It's a second and 8. So, here, Minnesota will be bringing pressure. So, all these guys at the line with the exception of zero, right there. They will all be coming. Now, seven and two, these two outside corners, will both be dropping into their deep third assignments. 24, this free safety, he will take the third deep assignment. So we kind of have that base cover to shell. Now, zero and 54, will be dropping to, to landmarks. So I think zero is going to be dropping to right about there-ish. And 54 is going to kind of stay right where he is. And they're going to relate to the quarterback size, kind of like we saw again on that first play. So that first play we call a 42 fire zone because there were four deep defenders and two underneath. Here, we're going to call it a 32 fire zone. Now, Rodgers has a decent play called, so ten, 10, who he brought over from Green Bay, he's going to come up the field, and somewhere between the 30 and 25, he's going to stop. Now, the idea here is seven, he's going to need to make sure he doesn't get beat over the top, because he really has no help. And 54, because he's just going to be looking at the eyes, 
won't have a chance at it. So, give a token play action, 10, turn around, ball right there. Unfortunately, he can't bring it in. Because you see, he has this little out, up, turn around, get open, but we can't bring the ball in. That'll bring up a third and eight. Now in pass protection. Again, pass protection, decent. We have it blocked up. No real pressure. Good throw this time. Just we can't quite bring in the ball to pick up the sticks. So, this brings us to a third and eight. Now we really want to pick this one up. And I will actually look at this from the up. From the off back end first. So, looks like the Vikings are in cover zero. They kind of are, with a little bit of an exception. So, last year and back in Miami, he liked to drop out either 52 or 44 into a little lurk rat underneath zone right kind of along these train tracks. Well, late in the year last year, Teams figured out how to take advantage of this over and beat Minnesota in the last four games. So instead of dropping out one of those, they'll be dropping out 43. Now Rodgers sees this zero look, and it is a version of cover zero with no deep safety. 24 will take this slot defender. However, he never sees 43 traps, and basically... 43, Van Gingel gets the ball thrown straight to him for the easy pick six, or the easy interception. Harrison Smith, 22 there, gets a good block on the return. Unfortunately, that will put us down by 17. It's going to be a tough hill to climb. They weren't able to do it, but let's look at why they weren't able to do it here coming up in the next two plays. So, jumping ahead into the fourth quarter here. We have a third and 13. Now we are down by 10, 10 to 20, and there's 11.32 left in the final frame here. So we'd like to see this be converted for a first down, be able to get some points here, because if we have to punt, it will be very tight up against it. Now, Minnesota here. They're in a man-free robber situation, or coverage. So, 24, or first off, to break this down, man, 2's going to take his guy, 44's going to take this guy, the linebacker, he's going to take the running back, 7 will take this guy, 1 will take 5 here up top. Now, so that's the man part of man for you, Robert, we got 5 guys in man, 3, 24 here. He will be taking the deep middle of the field, kind of straight to the NFL icon. So, man, five guys in man, free, 24. He will be dropping to this kind of NFL logo. Now, Robber, 22. Now, instead of him also dropping deep, because he's lined up deep, Robber, he's going to come down to kind of the 35, 32. 6, 37, somewhere in here, and he will quote-unquote rob the middle of the field. So I'll give you one time through to watch that man free rob, watch these two safeties, watch 24 go back, 22 come down. Now, Rogers, very good. He sees this man coverage on the outside. He sees a safety over the top, and he's going to try and throw one of these famous back shoulder balls up the sideline. Now, is there pass interference on the defense? Wasn't called? Maybe, but that ball was really kind of too far back. It would be a tough catch, even if there was no contact by one. Maybe there should have been a flag, but that was going to be a difficult catch anyway, and I think that's part of the reason they decided not to flag it. But maybe you could argue should have been flagged, but even still, you got to put your keep yourself out of that situation, throw a little bit more catchable ball, maybe it's more likely to be flagged. 
But more importantly, keep yourself out of that 3rd and 13 if you weren't in there. Probably don't need to throw a lower percentage ball and hope for the flag. So, had to punt here. And that brings us to our final clip. Obviously, I think we all know what's... So, final clip here. Minnesota, they have run cover five a lot here. They have run it four times in the last seven passing downs for a majority of their passing plays. Now, we a lot of people who play Madden, they know cover one. They know cover two. They even know cover three and cover four. Cover five, interesting play. Most people don't know what it is. So, it's another man coverage play. So, a man up here, man, man down here, 44, he will be manned up on the tight end. And this linebacker right here on the left train track, he will be lined up with the running back. So we got five guys in man, that's where we get cover five from. Now these two safeties who are deep, they will be backing off into both deep half assignments. So 24, he will be backing up kind of to the 10 here. 22, he will also be backing up at the snap. So, the throw here. 18 on 2 down the right sideline. So he, 18, he's going to outside release kind of go down the red line, which is painted on the practice field, not on this field. And, tr and Rodgers will try and throw a back shoulder ball. Now, two, he knows that he has safety help over the top. So, as we watch this play, two will get his eyes back to the quarterback because he doesn't really care if 18 runs past him to the end zone. You have that safety help, ends up getting a fortunate interception straight into the lap. So, as we watch that again, Watch two. You see, he opens up his hip, runs down with him. Right here, he hits the 20, and he realizes, hey, the ball's probably going to come because I have safety help. Gets eyes back inside. 18 gets eyes back inside late. It's intercepted. That closes out the ball game. They couldn't make the touchdown. They were kind of running out of time anyway. With it, there only being 50 seconds left in one timeout on a third and 10. But that being said, end the game right there. Unfortunate. Now, New York did have seven turnovers or three and out on their 13 drives. You need to be better, and that's probably part of the reason that Sala is no longer the head coach there in New York. Unfortunate to see a guy go. Hopefully. We ha they ha they'll have a better head coach in the interim and next year, but that's all I have for you today. Hope to see you in the next one.